Cypher Tech, welcome back to my channel today. I want to show you a quick and easy tutorial in Premiere Pro about how to make that really fun collage effect that I've been seeing pretty much everywhere on Instagram and TikTok. I'll credit who I found it through below. I can't think of the name right now. Let's begin. So you want to open up Premiere Pro. Um, a lot of people seem to think that there's an app that does this. You got to do a little bit of manual work for this, I'm afraid. So open Premiere Pro and then go to your preferences and you want to go to timeline first and I'm using 15 frames here, still image default duration, 15 frames, but you can change this to whatever you want. This will pretty much mean that when you add photos into a timeline, they'll be 15 frames long. So these are the six photos that I'm using. I'm uh, selecting them all. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go new sequence from clip. This creates a timeline. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna select those photos and then holding alt, you wanna drag them up. So this duplicates all the photos onto the line above. Then select the bottom photos and you hit plus five and this will shift them five frames forward. Boom, that's done. And now just this first photo, let's just let that one live by itself. Then once you are at the second photo on the first frame, you're gonna go to the effect controls tab with that photo selected. Click on this pen tool and you're gonna draw around what it is that you wanna have appear in the second photo. Uh, before the second photo hits, I guess. Now I'm going to do this just very roughly for the sake of this tutorial, but you can spend as much time on this as you want. And now, as you can see, this top video layer here has that mask on there that we just applied. And so for the first five frames, that is what will appear from this second photo. And then after five frames, the bottom layer is the full photo. On top of this full photo, we still have the original photo, but it's the same photo, it just, it has the mask, so it gets revealed there. And then you can, uh, you can keep doing that for everything you want. Again, let's go roughly like so. And then that gets added there. And then you can, this is one, one where I, I spent quite a bit of time on this one because I wanted to get it like quite accurately, but for the sake of, oops, for the sake of the tutorial again, let's just go quickly. Boom, 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 like that. And then one little tip here, if you have a round object, instead of zooming in all the way and then click, click, clicking around, you can make these points curve by working like that, clicking and dragging. And this is some finicky stuff sometimes, but it's once you get the, once you figure out the kind of the, um, how it works, the clicking and dragging, it becomes pretty darn easy. Now, one more photo here at the end. Let's quickly do this car. And then I've got one more tip to show you, um, which adds an extra little bit of fun. So now, as you can see, let's play that back. That is kind of what you've been seeing on Instagram quite a lot lately. Now, if you want to move these things, because I did one on Instagram that moved, you are going to want to, with that photo, with the mask on, you're gonna to wanna to go to the position uh, tab or in the effects control, go to position and click this animation keyframe chrono icon on the first frame of that. Click that, go forward four frames, and here you kinda create another keyframe, and then you hit the back button here, go to previous keyframe, and then you can slide that just out of frame and if you see what happens now that slides into the photo and you can do that for all these things this one's three frames let's go previous and let's drop this one from the bottom Whoop. and obviously where you put your keyframes etc that will manipulate how fast things move and how long they are on screen but uh, yeah that's pretty much it now you can export that and post it on Instagram or TikTok and get disappointed by your reach. <laughs> uh, if you have any other tutorial videos that you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments. If you want to learn how to time lapse, you know where to find my courses. I'm doing a camera giveaway soon. Again, on my newsletter, you can sign up to that down below as well. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you today. I've been filming again on one of the hottest days of the year and I'm dripping sweat. So thanks for enduring that with me here. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Okay, and waffle done. May the clouds be in your favor. Peace. <laughs> I'm so bad at endings.